Mysteries are all around us, with new ones cropping up almost every day and in a wide range of locations. No matter where you look, you are bound to discover something new and mysterious without an explanation. As the human race ventures further into the unknown, we continue to unearth new unsolved mysteries. From the bottom of the ocean to the deep darkness of caves, so many discoveries are just waiting to be found. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries and what it means for our understanding. Chinese scientists discover giant viruses in the Mariana Trench Within the past five years, a research team based in Shanghai extracted a batch of giant viruses from deep within the Mariana Trench. The findings excited a lot of scientists since they have not before found large viruses that far deep. There also has not been that much successful exploration of the Mariana Trench. Various teams attempted to retrieve viral samples from the trench over the past few years, each failing due to technical difficulty and challenges. The Mariana Trench is a crescent-shaped trench in the western Pacific Ocean that measures about 2,550 kilometers in length and 69 kilometers in width. It is the deepest ocean trench in the world, with the maximum depth reaching 10,984 miles. You could place Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth, in the trench, and it would still sit under two kilometers of water. The researchers took the virus sample from Challenger Deep, which is the deepest known point in the Earth's seabed. This slot-shaped valley sits at the southern end of the trench. There are nearly 1,086 bars of pressure sitting above this point, increasing the water density to 4.96% and keeping the temperature at 1 to 4 degrees Celsius. We have been able to conduct measurements with manned and remotely operated deep diving submersibles and benthic landers. This trench point has more than 1,071 times the standard atmospheric pressure exerted on it than we do at sea level. It is challenging for any complex organism to survive at these depths due to the difficult living conditions. Giant viruses, though, are pretty abundant at these extreme depths. In fact, they are rarer in other atmospheric pressure conditions. Five years ago, the research ship Zhan Jian successfully obtained enough sample material from Challenger Deep to extract genome sequences from 15 different virus species and over 100 types of microorganisms. The team discovered that some species were even larger than a bacterium. They also found mimiviruses within the sediment, which is a species that uses amoeba as its host. The Shanghai team attempted to revive the viruses, although they were unable to. They did manage to raise over 2,000 strains of microorganisms using a high-pressure lab environment. They published their results in the July 2021 issue of Genome Biology, a popular biology journal. The scientists discovered a bit more about mimiviruses due to this sample, despite how small it was. Mimiviruses are intriguing. They can easily be mistaken for bacteria since they have hairy fibers and bodies. They can reach up to 700 nanometers wide and be seen by the naked eye. The genome found in this virus is just as complex. It has over 1.2 million base pairs, far more than any other virus we know of. The novel coronavirus has 40 times fewer pairs. We have seen them cause tissue damage in mammals during experiments, but none have caused direct harm to humans so far. Most viruses are simple parasites that depend on a host. Surprisingly, Mimiviruses contain productive protein production and metabolism genes that are typically only found in independent life forms. The leading theory is that mimiviruses underwent reverse evolution and changed from microbes to viruses. They still retained these productive functions to survive at such extreme depths and living conditions, though. Scientists hypothesize that these genes help the hosts break down nutrients faster. These remain theories, though, because the research team was unable to revive the viruses. They are eager to gather more samples and data to conduct more thorough investigations and better understand unknown viral strains. Studying genetic information is crucial for new drugs and biological innovation, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Learning about natural viruses can help in our defense against the coronavirus and other strains. Earth's vital signs are worsening as humanity's impact deepens. 
Over the past few years, scientists have been warning governments of the impending tipping point of climate change and the natural disasters that are consistently increasing. More than 14,000 scientists and researchers worldwide have signed an initiative declaring a global climate state of emergency, which nations' leaders have largely ignored. The experts recently came out with follow-up statements, explaining that capitalism and its business-as-usual approach to the economy and climate are reaching a point of no return. We have seen Earth's vital signs reduced to record levels due to the over-exploitation of natural resources. These vital signs are a set of metrics in place to measure the planet's overall health. It considers greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, glacier thickness, and more to determine the state of the natural environment. Out of 31 of these signs, scientists found that 18 hit record levels. Although critics of climate change have argued that pollution decreased during the pandemic and therefore our worries should ease, the levels of CO2 and methane in the atmosphere increased this year. They hit record highs in 2021 and have increased the rate of glaciers melting at our ice caps. The over-exploitation has caused an incredible surge in natural disasters since 2019, as we have seen in record heat waves and subsequent wildfires across the United States and Australia, constant flooding in South America and Southeast Asia, as well as cyclone after cyclone in the Gulf of Mexico and the Indian Ocean. The deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon has led to an increase in fires and drought. Parts of the rainforest now contribute more carbon to the atmosphere than they absorb. The thousands of scientists who signed the initiative all agree that governments need to be more proactive and quickly decarbonize our global economy. The priority should be to restore nature, not make a profit off of it. If we do not, they warn, we will soon reach a point of no return. The melting of the ice sheets in Greenland and West Antarctica is now considered to be at an irreversible stage. Even if we take dramatic steps right now to cut our emissions down, it will take centuries for the ice sheets to recover. The scientists are demanding frequent updates on the climate condition and for it to be taught as a core curriculum in schools to raise global awareness. They request changes in six different areas of the economy to stabilize and protect the environment. Governments should eliminate fossil fuels, restore ecosystems, stabilize the human population, eat more plant-based diets, cut down pollutants, and avoid indefinite growth modules. Immediate changes can drastically alter the trajectory of Earth's climate. Scientists understand that policies limiting capitalistic over-exploitation are the only way to stop climate change. Without emergency responses, we will continue to impact our environment and worsen vital signs negatively. Earth may have been a water world three billion years ago. Earlier this year, Harvard published a study on the Earth's water storage capacity, which challenges our long-held assumption that the water volume on Earth's surface has not changed since its formation. The researchers published their calculations and findings in the April issue of AGU Advances. The Harvard team's geochemical calculations suggest that three or four billion years ago, Earth's ocean could have been one to two times larger than it is now, potentially covering the entire surface of the planet. PhD students who led the study explained that although it greatly depends on the distribution and overall height of the continents, the ocean could very well have covered an average of 70 to 80 percent of the land. If the ocean volume then was twice what it is today, the surface of primordial Earth would have been completely flooded. One of the longest-held beliefs of Earth's formation was that its ocean volume has remained relatively consistent throughout its history. The team challenged this idea by studying the chemical components within the Earth's mantle and interior. They gathered as much scientific literature and data as they could find on minerals that showed the bonding of oxygen and hydrogen atoms to calculate Earth's water storage capacity. The researchers determined that the capacity in the mantle billions of years ago was much less than it is today. Over time, water has been falling into our planet's interior due to tectonic movement and subduction. The amount of water in our mantle now is much more significant than what it could hold a few billion years ago. All of that water had to have been somewhere though, potentially on the Earth's surface. The study is to first provide quantitative evidence that our Earth could have been an actual water world, 
Although many other researchers have previously argued for it, it seems that the 1995 Universal Studios film Waterworld was not so far-fetched after all. Likely, our planet was covered entirely in water. However, this occurred billions of years ago, way before humans. The findings are not conclusive enough for the entire scientific community, as the mineral data used to create the calculations was limited. They only had information up to a certain depth of the mantle. Regardless, the research team is excited for their next project, Mars. They are looking to the red planet and hoping to use a similar model to figure out how much water it had stored in its interior. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.